Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a bit of um, uh, tips and ideas how to deal with awkward customers when you get a request for for refund or return claiming the item was broken and all the rest of it um, I very rarely I get return requests, very very rare a recent one I've got where I had two listing um, I was selling two Winnie the Pooh ceramic 8 inch plates collectible plates so it was a similar product two listing two different high type of plates uh, same price and a person bought one of them and when it comes to ceramic stuff you know your fragile stuff you have to be very careful how do you sift it so i did all the good stuff of packaging in a bubble wrap a zippy bag you know your air pride so very tough box so don't break the parcel company don't break it i did all the good stuff I sent it off and behold a couple of days later I get an email from this person it says um, first of all the email claims it, that they had already had the similar stuff at home so they were the wrong one they've actually bought got a similar one same thing at home already so that's not not here it's not my problem first of all and secondly they claimed oh it was uh, one of the the character in the plate is like a 3d character of Winnie the Pooh and all these characters one of them came off right I looked at the email I looked at the feedback of that person and it was literally sh this person had i think only 20 25 feedback and then what i s decided to do without upsetting that customer i wrote an email and i what i've done is paste the detail of the one of the winnie the pooh plate still listing on my site and pasted it and then just simply wrote and I just apologize for what happened and I said yeah uh, please provide uh, some photograph of the broken item as you claimed so I can make a claim against my parcel company so basically what I'm saying provide me with the photographic evidence that this item was broken and then either I will refund you or I will make a claim against my parcel company for breaking it because I need to have evidence to submit it to the parcel company so I get my refund and you are not going to believe this but it has been over a couple of weeks never heard a single word from the person again so it shows you Sometimes, <clears throat> if you're in that position, you get something like this. The best thing to do is nicely write them an email explaining to them, you know, please provide me with photographic evidence so I can claim it on my insurance of the parcel company. Obviously, you need to know if they send you photographic evidence so you you be in a position to know whether it's they're lying or telling the truth. If that's the truth, then obviously they will send you photographic evidence. If not, that will be the end of it. You're not going to hear any more from them. So next time you get that, nice and easily, softly explain to them to send you a photographic evidence. And I'm sure you're not going to hear them again. 
if you ask them nicely. And I have done it. When I started doing eBay seriously two years ago, I, I had a <clears throat> go at a customer and, <clears throat> excuse me, I end up, it was for, I had a slinging match for no reason. I've learned my lesson and now I don't get into that sort of situation. I hardly ever do it. If I'm think, if I look at the feedback and it's a very creditable person, you know, you've seen them, if I six, seven hundred, eight hundred feedback, a thousand feedback, um, they're not lying or they're not making up stories, it's just I instantly refund them. And often what I do, you know, sometimes they will, on a return case, sometimes <clears throat> I tell them, don't bother to return it, I just refund you straight away. Keep the stuff, it makes you look good. Recently, another another transaction where I sold a, a PS2 game and I missed it, that a corner of that case was broken. I did not realize that. Under the plastic covering, the hard plastic is just a chip on the corner. So, with a small item, a 4.99 item and the guy was nicely sent me a, an email said look uh, the case is broken and I explained I'm so sorry I must have mistakenly overlooked at this um, when I took the photograph or didn't check it properly I apologized to him and I said what uh, what me what do you want me to do do you want me to refund you or I send you another replacement or what do you want me to do? So he wrote back to me saying, you know, he'd be happy that if I refunded half of the money. And I thought, why bother with half of the money? Four ninety nine. I just gave him the return. Four ninety nine. And behold, in turn, he gave me one of the fantastic uh, reviews. So it shows that I'm thinking in the positive sense that I give him a a PS2 game what I bought for 50p and okay for 99 and obviously I include my postage but the feedback itself paid ten times the the value of the product what a feedback so things like this you know don't ever get the best thing to do not to get in a slinging match or wrestling match with a customer and you have to bear in mind customer is always right even though they're wrong as a seller as a business person you always say your customer is always right and without a hesitation or delay sometimes just refund them it pays off on the long term it really does pay off and it's not worth when you're growing business to start slinging much. Even if you're a big, big, you know, if you're a multi, multi million dollar business, a pound business, they don't argue, you don't argue with the customers. You just hand them over. I know it's difficult. Sometimes we don't want to lose out. But that's the way the game goes. And people will always try it on. And make sure, um, don't fall in the trap. You know, sometimes you get people are writing with, write you uh, a kind of aggressive email, and you get pumped up, and you react, and you say a lot of things. It's, don't ever get into that habit of reacting, even if they send you a. I, you know, tough email, you don't have to write a tough email back, just apologize, always sorry, always be humble, 
and uh, that way you can resolve the issue so fast and there always will be people who always try on it's, it's, the, it's the small buyers who just starting out on eBay they will always try on and you're always going to get the scammers and that's, that, that's one thing part and partial of selling on eBay or other platform you know you, you will always going to get some doesn't matter how big you are or how small seller you are you will tend to face this problem and any business whether you're running a restaurant business, whether you're running a department store, whether you're running any sort of service, there will always be a problem. And you always will find a solution. But the, the biggest solution, I think, and I tend to say, you know, do not get upset. Don't do anything silly. If they want the refund, give them the refund or compromise if you're selling a high ticket item compromise with the seller like i said yeah no problem um if you think your item is such a greater value you cannot give it away tell them please return it and if they say to you oh uh, who's going to pay for the postage and just send them the postage money in a couple of quid here and there, it's not going to make any dent to your pocket, is it? Or your business? So, in my experience, I don't argue with customers. I just go along, as they say. But be firm. Like I said before, ask them for proof. Ask them such a way that they don't think, you know, you're, you're not disbelieve them. You are, you are believing them, but in a firm way, like, you know, you, you're saying things like, please provide me with photographic evidence so I can submit my claim to my parcel company. So what you're saying, please provide me the photograph so I get my money back from the parcel company who broke you my item. You are not disbelieving the customer, the fact that you want to claim your money back. If you're going to refund that person, you need to have your money back from the parcel company. So that why it's a win-win situation. If they're lying or if they're talking, you know, porkies, they will stop. I know it's difficult. I know any business, there will be always that sort of scenario. And you have to get used to it. In a calm manner, you deal stuff. And be professional. Everything you do in life come across as a professional. Even though you're selling extremely clumsy, but they're not going to see you're clumsy or not clumsy. All principal are interested in see you delivering the good, good service that's what they're interested they're not interested in anything else so next time if you do get out of the situation um i hope um, you found this video interesting and the same here i'm learning as i'm going along and i hope you learned from my dealing with that particular person a bit uh, how to deal in a situation like this i know a lot of people don't and don't know how to deal it and they get into slinging match and everything gets out of control and they and the customer writes them a, a worse feedback and they will put a negative on your thing and that way it be difficult. So for a couple of quids or whatever, don't try to get a negative or don't do that. Just calm, cool, calm and collective. That's what I say. Three C's. Cool, calm, collective and that's it. 
thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please click like subscribe button please also comment